There is a perception that sudden cardiac death is something that happens to older people. However, the reality is that it can happen to anyone, anytime, anywhere, stealing hopes and dreams in an instant. Few know this better than Haley, whose son Miles died at 15 of sudden cardiac arrest. Here's John Gibson with her story. Miles loved, lived and shared his life on social media. 10 out of 10? Yeah, 10 out of 10. He was just such a kind boy, a kind soul, loved by so many people. His family, his brother, Carter. Good luck for your future for Miles. The future Miles would be deprived of without warning. We went into his room, well I did, to wake him up and he was on the floor at the side of his bed face down and his arm was just a heavy dead weight. It was painful to see a 15 year old boy like that. Um, Haley screaming, running up and down the stairs. It's, it's a horror movie. It was only when Nathan, I could hear him doing CPR on Miles. It's only then, at that point, and when my mum arrived, I knew from the screams of my mum, I knew that this is happening again. Miles had suffered a sudden cardiac arrest. Eight years to the day that sudden arrhythmic death syndrome, or SADS, had killed his father. Miles was rushed to hospital, but couldn't be saved, leaving his devastated family searching for answers. I felt like, was there something wrong with his heart? Because they're both waiting to cardiac arrest the same way, the same day. Was there something wrong? Is there something that they've missed? Is there something that wasn't picked up? But there was just no answers. He had a healthy heart. No indications, nothing was found. It's difficult, it's really difficult. But I just have to keep going and just know that Miles is with me and he's never going to leave me. Unfortunately, what happened to Miles is far from unique. Every week, 12 families like Haley's lose a loved one under 35 to sudden cardiac death. The hope is that research funded by the British Heart Foundation can reduce the number of families going through the same thing. It can just happen and, and with sudden arrhythmic de death syndrome, it is indiscriminate. It, it just happens and it is devastating for all those affected by it. So they could be the most healthy, they could be young, they could have no risk factors. And that's why it's so important that we are trying to understand why it's happening in the absence of any sort of cause or reasoning behind it. Professor Elijah Baer is leading the research funded by the British Heart Foundation. So what do we know about this syndrome and why are there so many unanswered questions? When we first started doing research, and I started this um, back in 1999, we didn't know the underlying causes and now we're at a point where um, we have an understanding of around half of the cause of cases and we're understanding more um, as we undertake further research, including trying to understand how important the genetic risk is for family members. I've been aware of sudden death as a cause of unexpected tragic loss from my own personal family experience. Thankfully, not amongst people uh, of the age of the families that I've been dealing with. And when I progressed into research, there was a, an opportunity to understand sudden death and to help families in a way that uh, I never really anticipated or understood, given that it was such a, a new field. And from my perspective, I have been emotionally touched and absorbed by the amount of trust that families have put in me and my clinical colleagues. And how we can help them has become a really an important driving factor for me because of that trust. We're always together, like every day. I'm by myself, it's like one. It's not two anymore, it's not a pair, it's one of us now. And it's sad to think about it. I just miss him being there, 
I could talk to him about anything, but I can't anymore. No amount of research can bring Miles back, but by supporting the work of the British Heart Foundation, his family are hoping to raise awareness of its research and the need for further funding. We're not funded by the government, we're an independent funder, and the donations that we receive to help fund the research like Elijah Bears is really important. By getting people to donate, to increase that awareness, start these conversations, getting people to sign up to our fundraising or do donations into shops, all that will help support us in then funding that research and getting these answers. You're always going to be searching for closure. But, Maybe that'll mm. bring a little bit of peace. It's just difficult not having those answers as a family because we're all going through this together and we'll all lift each other up and, and that's what we've done and that's what we'll continue to do.